We're surrounded by two major rivers here in the Portland area, and that means soil could liquefy during a big earthquake. The unstable soil is expected to cause widespread damage, but professors from Portland State University are testing a new treatment to prevent that from happening. Elise Haas shows you how. We'll come out and we'll try to study soils that are problem soils. Portland has a liquefaction problem. Civil engineers from PSU and universities across the country are trying to fix that. Liquefaction is a phenomenon during earthquakes where the ground turns into a soup of water and soil to the point that structures on top collapse and sink, threatening Portland's buildings, bridges, dams, fuel tanks and airport. Just the economic impact that that would have in Oregon is is huge. But professors at Portland State University are now testing a way to mitigate the liquefaction risk by strengthening the soil. Which we use the microorganisms in the soil to desaturate it, desaturate the soil to the point that it would not the soil would not liquefy anymore. This is the first field test of its type in the United States. We have pushed sensors down to certain depths in the ground. Sensors measure motion and water pressure. While earthquake shakers simulate a quake and students record data testing if the soil is stronger, so far they've been desaturating the soil in northeast Portland near the airport for a month. For the next few years, they'll continue to test to see how the ground holds up. If it is effective, it could be a game changer. Because with this new approach, they could mitigate liquefaction at the fraction of the cost of previous methods, which would change the way Oregon prepares for and recovers from the big one. In Northeast Portland, Elise Haas, Coin6 News. And our Coin6 digital team is exploring the science behind earthquakes and ways you can prepare in a new digital special. It's called Shaky Ground Pacific Northwest Earthquakes. Go to coin.com and find the earthquake section.